Good morning, everyone. Um, this is the second show of the other day. Um, I just wanted to give everyone an update on all the picks the uh, my favorite football team, the Cleveland Browns, have. Showing today, the Browns pick number forty-four, pick number forty-four in the second round. Then they pick number seventy-eight in the third round. They pick number ninety-nine in the third round. Then they pick number 118 in the fourth round. Then they pick number 202 in round six. That pick is from the Cowboys. Then they pick number 233 in round seven from the Lions. And then they pick number 246 round seven from the Bills. And then the Browns during the offseason acquired Amari Cooper from the Cowboys. Traded Mac Wilson to the Pats for Chase Winovich and agreed to terms with defensive tackle Tavon Bryant. Agreed to terms with Jakeem Grant, tackle Chris Hubbard, and linebacker Anthony Walker. Now, who do you guys? I know some of you aren't Browns fans, but to all my Browns fans out there, who do you guys think the Browns are going to draft during the draft? You think we're going to go offense or defense first? We never know. I know something's about to happen during the draft that's hopefully going to be decent. And we have all the pieces together. We have a good wide receiver core. We have Amari Cooper, Donovan Peoples-Jones. We have um, Anthony Schwartz. We have... Jakeem Grant, we have great running backs in Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb, Ernest Johnson, and Felton. We have a good quarterback. His name is Baker Mayfield. We, I am was so mad when we drafted Washington. Everyone's saying Washington can throw the ball and run the ball. Yes, he can, but Will he play this season is the big question. We don't know if he'll play this season or not. We'll find out. But if he doesn't, Baker Mayfield needs to be the starting quarterback. Even though they did Baker, um, they did him dirty. He was looking to go into the offseason fully healthy everything. Um, I think Baker Mayfield's a great quarterback. He took us to the playoffs. He beat Pittsburgh twice in the same season where we beat them the last game of the regular season and in the playoffs where he beat Big Ben. And then we went on to play the Chiefs. If it wasn't for that no call pass interference in the end zone, there might have been a different outcome. We could have we could have beaten the Chiefs and then moved on to play the Bills. Then we could have went on to the Super Bowl. Who knows? If it wasn't for that bad, 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 bad call by the ref, the Browns would have beaten the Chiefs and went on to play for the AFC Championship game. But supposedly the refs didn't see it that way. And we got screwed. But we will be back in the playoffs. I guarantee you that. The Browns have a great team. They have good offensive players. They have good defensive players. We just re-signed Denzel Ward to a five-year, $100 million contract. We have Nick Chubb locked up for four more years. We have Kareem Hunt for another few years. We have good players on the team. We just need to put it all together, and then everything will come. Everything will be great in Cleveland. But it used to be back in there. Back when there was the AFL, where the, where the Browns won like eight championships. I know everyone disagree with me on this, but at the end of the day, the Browns have more championships than in Pittsburgh, Dallas, San Francisco. I know it's not the Super Bowl, but 
back when it was in the Super Bowl, Cleveland had eight championships. You didn't argue with me all day long about that. But Cleveland has the most championships. I know it's a Super Bowl era, but there was no Super Bowl era back in the, in the 50s and the 60s. It was called the AFL, where the Browns dominated the AFL, where they won eight championships. Um, hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, a great weekend. Um, I will probably be back on tomorrow. Um, I have to work all day. Um, depending on how tired I am, I'll probably jump on here to update like how the draft, the second day of the draft went. Um, hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend and enjoy the sunshine. Bye, everyone. Oh, and I wanted to give a special, a special shout out. My smart nod says she got us queen, Kylie Myers. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, honey, and enjoy this beautiful weather. All right, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye.